We're having popcorn. Popcorn. Yay. Popcorn. Today is movie night. Movie night. Actually, movie no, night. No, not movie night. Um, what are we? What are we doing? Game night. Game night. Yeah. Movie night. It's the best no. day in no. the day. Best day in the day. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday. 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 Happy birthday! No, she's doing it! 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 She's so we're about to start, but we're waiting for um, Amarita and Elizabeth to be done in the kitchen so we can have movie nights. Um, no, I think it's movie night. Games night. So we want to play games, we want to have fun. Are you excited? Yes! Yes! yes. I really like games! Are you excited? But the thing now is that before the, the people that were look, waiting for come we would have finished all the popcorn. <laughs> These two bowls were full before Nanson is almost finished. So we will soon finish all the popcorn, but as you are dead day. Uncle Kaito. This is Kamela. Hi Kosi. Just look Kosi. at his this beautiful girl. I say Kosi, beautiful girl. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, you should come. Cheese! Oh yeah, let's hey. arrange here well. Um, Elizabeth, please bring
Pepsi. Hey, So that means so so late. We are supposed to be at Amarachi's school for her matriculation, but we are still getting ready. I had to make Cora's hair this morning. So many things. Sophia is not feeling fine. Like a lot, a lot has been happening. But I'm good. I'm well. I don't know if anybody asked me. And just just take a look at this pretty girl. Just take a look at this pretty girl. You guys, my sister has been helping me color my wigs, right? Like. She's helping me color my wig, so this is one of them that she colored, but she's rocking it first. You're launching my hair before me. <laughs> but she's rocking it first. I can't wait to rock this hair. My sister is a hair. Uh, uh, oh, I even call yourself hair bender. <laughs> actually, hair bender. yes, because she's also the one that helps me to um, what do you call it, bob and straighten this my hair. Like, don't I look pretty? Don't I look gorgeous? Yeah, just look at her. We're even wearing matching clothes. Though. This my office is a mess. So people should just ignore my office, right? But see. Come on, come on, give it to them. Just hey. see body on flick. Body on flick, flick. <laughs> body on flick. <laughs> That's how we'll be here happy now ourselves. Time has gone. I'm telling you. Anyway, um, we're on our way now. Let me just carry my bag. I need to drink water. I'm very, very thirsty. Um, let me just carry my bag and close these windows. And we're on our way to Amarachi School. Let's just drink water now. Let's go. Daddy love is your baby, no Toda tus amigas se y mis amigas Tú necesitamos algún día se filen yeah. Ay, sonríe tú, pero el feliz soy yo Vente pa' que me bautices Entre la luna y el sol pegado siento calor, yeah, yeah Como una historia pa' que me deslice Y el deslizado soy yo Como haciendo el amor, yeah, yeah Es que estoy puesto pa' ti En la cama va a fluir Lo que yo siento por ti Lo que tú sientes por mí, bebé Es que estoy puesto pa' ti En la cama va a fluir Lo que yo siento por ti Lo que tú sientes por mí Lo que quieres Hi guys, how you doing? 
So I feel a little bit awkward in front of the camera. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. But yeah, I went to make my hair this morning. I went to relax my hair and I want to make my hair sometime this week. Yeah, but my weekend was so hectic. Today is Monday. My kids have gone for their lessons. Let me tell you guys what happened. I actually, for, I actually thought that my kids were resuming school today, so I spent the weekend making their hair, even though Sophia was not feeling fine and I was really, really tired, but I spent the weekend making their hair and everything, okay? And then my husband took them to school today and he was like, on his way to go and drop them, he wasn't seeing any students on the road, you know, how, norm, how a normal Monday morning would be where you see children going to different schools. He didn't see any child on the road. When he got to the street where my kid's school is, there was nobody on the road, okay? And he was still like, what's happening? When he now got to the school gate, they were like, ah, there's no school today. So that was how he brought them back. So they went for their um, holiday lesson instead. Anyway, yeah, that's it. And then um, Amarachi's um, matriculation, that was a fail for us. We couldn't, we didn't get there, okay? So I put her school um, on Google Maps and it showed me one hour something. And first of all, we're already late and we are with all our kids, including my sister and her baby. And we're already late and it was showing me one hour something. It was also showing me a lot of red zones where we have, where they was hold up that day. So I was like, hmm, I want to be there for Amarachi, but I don't want to regret it because I'm with the kids. If I was going alone, I would have gone. But being with the kids, you know, the way everywhere was, and Sophia was not feeling fine as well, I decided to, you know, turn back. In fact, I was calling Amarachi, her number was not even going through, her number was switched off. Eventually, when she called me back, she was not telling me that there was a lot of hold up, that in fact, no going in, no coming out of our school, that everything was just locked. I said, Thank you, Jesus. It's almost like I knew. It's like the Spirit of God was just trying to save me from a lot of heartache because I would have been angry that day. We now did not go to her school. We now went out with my husband. He took us out. My son was leaving the next day, so he took us out. We had a very good time. I didn't really vlog much. But I didn't even vlog at all, that, to be honest. But yeah, we had a very good time out. We went to eat and have fun. But like I said, Sophia was not feeling fine. She was having rashes all over her body and it was get and it was becoming worse. At some point she was just crying continuously. So I quickly rushed her to the hospital. Turns out she had measles, right? So in fact, Sophia being sick was another thing that really weighed me down because she was really cranky, temperature was really high, she wasn't sleeping well at night. The only way she could sleep was if you carry her. And me, I was on my period and I took COVID vaccine, so I was dealing with the COVID vaccine, I was dealing with period, I was dealing with carrying a sick child. My husband was helping out, but at some point she became very clingy, like it was only me that could carry her, like I cannot just, in fact, and I must carry her and stand. It's not that like you just carry her, carrying her is not enough, you must carry her and stand. So she'll be crying, I even tried to sit down at some point, she agreed for me to sit down, but she was just restless, restless, restless. I tried to put her on the bed, it was just a, it was just a lot, okay, but thankfully she's better now, she's not completely, you know, out of it but she's better now so yeah um that's what happened in my life i yeah i'm not even sure how this vlog went after after i published my last video which is my um, daughter's hair video i was like no i can't do this anymore i have to just relax okay i'm continuing in may so i'm going to be back in may if you guys are seeing this video i'm sure it's already may or maybe a few days to may but i'm going to be back fully in may posting back to back to back back to back to back like as per usual how are you guys doing let me know in the comment section and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye guys